Hi everyone, I'm just making sure you can see if I put that there. I think you can see now. Right, what we're going to be doing is making some of these flowers. So I'm just going to go through them with you. Oops. You're going to need tweezers, some form of a light or lighter, and some scissors, and various um, ribbons. So these are for sale in the shop at the moment. They are quite big and chunky, some of them. So what this is, um, a double layered one. Uh, they are all backed with fabric. And the I love these. They're just great flowers. Full flowers. This one I've added some leaves. So we'll be doing that as well. Um, this one, again, double layered. These I love. They're absolutely beautiful. And they're made from the Dewitt one. So that's that one. And then that's that's one with the green leaves. And the large acrylic flower in the centre. Uh, and these are the leaves, which you can do in any colour to go with any flower. So I'm going to show you the leaves first. What do you think? <laughs> Uh, and for that, I'm just going to move this out of the way. We're going to use the 2 inch wide cream ribbon. It is for sale in the shop. Um, what you're going to do is very, very simple. Let's just burn away those. I'll check you can see. Yeah, I think so. Right, so take hold of your ribbon shiny side out, dull side facing you, fold the ribbon down, go over the edge a little bit, fold that down and then cut it and that's going to make your leaf. Now if you don't, oh my scissors are so, well they are, <laughs> I'm not going to burnish the end yet so I'm going to take um, I'll show you a couple of them. Uh, yeah, I only need two to make that set. Because I do sell them in sets on the shop. So shift that out of the way. Okay. So. Um, fold it down. Fold it down again. And they have to meet, obviously. Then bend it back. I'm not sure if you saw what I did there. So I shall do that again in a minute. Okay, so we've taken a full length. You can fold it in half to give you the gauge of where the middle is. Fold that down, fold that side down towards you. Do it all towards you. Thumb and finger in the middle, bend that back. Now mine doesn't want to go, but of course mine wouldn't, would it? All three this front the back the front and the center all have to be lined up now just in case you don't get it lined up you see what i do i can burn that now and join it together but i like to make sure it's uh do what it's supposed to do so what i do is i cut that then i take just push it through a little bit then i take my scissors at uh, my scissors my lighter just push that through slightly and then I start to burnish the ends together. Pinch it between the... Like that. And you end up with that. Okay. So then what I do... I level that off. Move these bits out of the way. Then I burnish it, the ends that I've just cut. And then I take my needle and thread. Now for this, I'm using a wax cotton. eBay, just go onto eBay and you can buy it there. A wax cotton. You only need one, uh, you don't need to double it. So you only need one length. Put it in between the petal there. Or the leaf, whichever you want to call it. 
one st um, stitch and then you stitch along the edge careful when you get to the centre where you've joined it stitch right across this is a great way of making your very own and I'm just going to trim that they never work when you want them to um, your very own leaves professional looking leaves that's what I call them look aren't they beautiful just fabulous so you've got to the end pinch the end bit and just a couple of tacking stitches in there like that and you're ready to go and you've there made yourself a nice uh, leaf or a petal you could use them as a flower so what I'm going to do now is just show you that one again so we can fold that in half just to give yourself a guideline fold that down fold that down to match see so we've got a straight line there fold that back pop that between your tweezers and use straight tweezers obviously these are again I bought these in eBay I think it was and I just trim mine off so I know it's going to make it uh, glue together really if you've got these kind of tweezers push down and release while you're pushing the fab uh, the um, lay not lace the ribbon through just to give you, you know, you've got to have enough for it to seal. My light has really got to, the flame's too big. Like that, and seal that off. Then we take the scissors. Trim that, burnish it, take your needle and thread, make sure you've put a knot in the end. But I know I get an awful lot of mail saying, oh but Fee, I'm not a sewer so I can't do that. Anyone can do this, anyone. The very simple and easy stage step-by-step uh, -step instructions. Again, just pull that in, pull them together like that. And what I do is it's this, this end, this and the next fold, the very end and the next fold that I actually pin together and I stitch that through. Giving it a little tug. Because when you glue that onto your flower, it ain't gonna go anywhere. See, and that's the section that gets glued onto your flower. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make the flower that's going to go with that. Now, I'm going to use a smaller ribbon for the flower I'm going to make. I'm going to, we're only going to need two of those uh, leaves. So I've got this one. Now, leave it on the reel, or you could measure it out yourself. So I'm going to say two inches per petal. So that's one, two, three, four, five. You only need five petals. Seal it off. I did seal the other end. Take your needle and thread and start on the smallest edge and do it yourself a tacking stitch there and then you're going to do a running stitch along the edge not too close if you get too close uh, it, it, it frays like everything else that's why we um, put the flame on it but uh, just in case to protect it now count six stitches now these don't have to be too small or too big 
you know, just average sti uh, stitches about every centimetre. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I've done my six stitches like that. Now you're going to fold this on the left, fold it across like that. So the line of this edge is straight across that bit of uh, ribbon that you've already sewn. And then just as many stitches as it takes to go across the end, cut straight across, not cut it, but sew straight across to the end. So we've gone across the edge down the longest edge, six stitches, folded the ribbon over the top till it's got a straight. So now we've got a rectangle. Sewn across the top and you do your six stitches again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Fold it across the top. And then we're going to go right across there, keep going, oops. Like that. And do six stitches again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Fold back across. One. Oh, it doesn't matter how many stitches you use on that section. I just do it till I get to the other end. So if you look, we've done one petal, two petal, three petal. Now, I've done my stitches longer than normal. Um, so I'm just going to do, this is the top layer of the flower. So I can show you here. This is the top layer we're going to do first. Using four petals, because you don't have to use five. You could use six. Um, but I've chosen to, we'll do the four. One, two, three, four, five. You should get six out of that. And then back down the other side, the shortest side. Now, start here. Pull your petals. So you've got one. Wait a minute, go on down. Just pull them together like that. See how you've got all your petals? Make sure they're all the same way. And then you take the end where your needle and thread is to the beginning where you started. And do a stitch. Get hold of the two pieces together so you, every all your petals are the right way. Now I'm using a double sided satin. If you use a single side, you'll only, you will get a duller petal and a brighter petal. That doesn't matter. So, take hold and pull. Pull it in as tight as you want it and then you do a couple of stitches to tie it off. So like I say, we know we're going to do a five petal for the underneath flower and we'll have this as a double there. Okay, so we've got that. Four petals there, right? Now, when you're doing the two-tone um, trim, like, uh, let's have a look, like this one. When you're doing the two-tone and you're doing the pansy, you do three of them, not two, not four, you'll do three to do a pansy, okay? Anyway, let's get on with this. So, my thread's going to be long enough to do the next one so I'm just going to double knot that again I'll do an extra one this time so two inches one two three four five six I should do and I might get five out of it I don't ever you can't tell how long to do these to be honest Yeah. 
just going to burnish this end and then I'll burnish the other end when I'm ready. Um, because it depends how wide you do your stitches. So again, tacking stitch, two or three stitches down so you get to the end of the smallest width. Okay, again six stitches, one, two, three, four, five, six. Fold that over and then sew across the top that seam or that edge should I say. One, two, three, four, five, six. Fold that across, sew across the edge. One, two, three, four, five, six. Fold across. Just flip it forward. So count one, two, three. This is our fourth petal. Yeah, I did enough this time. One, two, three, four, five, six. Again, flip forward. One, two, three. Oh, you don't matter about that. What am I counting that for? <laughs> right, there's going to be enough to do that. So I'm just going to burnish the end and then stretch them stitches out. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then back down the side. These are really, really, I love this flower. I love it. And it looks good on any project. Right, so we've got the last stitch. Go back into the first one you did. Open them two up and pull. Now I'm going to leave my hole in the middle a little bit wider because I want to be able to see both layers. So I'm just going to stitch the two pieces of uh, ribbon together. Like that. And there we go. We'll just ease them round, same finger and thumb as we do with normal flowers. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful flower. Now you could use them singular like that or do what I do and I'm going to add this on. Now, glue gun. Are you ready? I hope so. Let's have a look now, see if we can get this glued in. So all I've done is glued around the edge, pop that back onto there, sorted out where I want the flower to be, because that's a four petal on a five petal. Does it look even-ish? Yeah. Take the pearly one. Okay. And then pop that on the centre and push that in, which lifts up the flower. I was going to put that on, but I'm not going to. Change my mind. So we've got that. Turn that upside down. Take a piece of um, fabric or felt or whatever it is you've got. I've just got a piece of fabric. Now we do sell the leathers that I'm using for the backings instead of the felt. Because the leather's good if you're doing a pin. So I've just cut that. Like that. Push that 
push that on the back. No one's going to see the back, so it doesn't matter. And there you go. Now, if you wanted that on a... Um, if you wanted to put it onto a head, headband or a, a clip or something, that's just easy. You make a little loop, just cut a piece of fabric that's a rectangle, glue it on that end and that end, and thread on your uh, flower onto your headband. Aren't they pretty? So like I say, we are, I forgot to put the flower. <laughs> you silly, silly movie. Right, let's put the leaves in here then. I aren't bothered where we're going to put them. I'm going to use the ones I made. We'll just, we can stick another back on. It doesn't matter. Just going to pop that there. I'm going to do that as well. Okie dokie. Put that in place. I'm going to have it like that. And then I could just stick on another back. So we'll do that now. I'm just going to cut it out. Make sure I do it big enough. There we go. Which covers that. That's fine. I'm quite happy with all of that. And there you go. A beautiful, beautiful flower with leaves, matching leaves. So I hope um, you've enjoyed that. They are gorgeous flowers. You know I will always bring you the best of the best. And uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. Take care and I'll uh, speak to you all soon. Bye bye for now.